We're super excited. You know, our first mobility field day was last year in May. We talked about a lot of our new upcoming initiatives here, got some amazing feedback. And since then, we've had a lot on our agenda. Want to share with you what we've been up to and uh, what we're doing moving forward here. Just to kick things off, a quick introduction about us. Unify. This is our true end-to-end -end IT management platform. Some of you might be familiar with us from the fixed wireless space. A lot of uh, popular products, point-to-point, point-to-multipoint, -point, point -point, namely Air Max, NanoBeam, things like that. That's where we got our start. Used a lot of our learnings there to transition into more of the traditional networking space. We started off with our Unify APs. You see that, uh, that fun UFO shape that you all probably know and see when you look up in uh, venues. We expanded into switching gateways, but from there things really took off. We moved more into the physical surveillance uh, as well as door access control. And really the whole idea here is if you are using one of our technologies, we give you a single pane of glass to do everything else. If you're an end user, that's great because your team could do more with less. You don't need to worry about a dedicated specialist for each individual technology. Super simple to learn. Manage service providers. This is also going to expand your revenue streams. If you're already laying down cable, installing access points, uh, switches, then you can do the same thing for you know surveillance cameras and door access control. And yes, you heard that right. We have door access control, which is all PoE based. You plug it in, it connects super secure, and it's really easy to go through and program. So why Unify? Biggest thing is that the customer is our top priority at the company. Everything we do is designed with the customer in mind. More explicitly, the first point here is gonna be quality hardware. Our hardware is very thoughtfully made not just the boxing experience and how it looks, but when you unbox it, shimmies off really nicely. It's a more premium experience. If you've ever used Apple products, of course, it's very similar. When you pull it from the box, it feels solid, it's well-balanced, and ultimately it's robust and reliable. The cherry on top is it also looks really good. It's aesthetically pleasing. Next is gonna be our innovative software. So internally, we have this principle of working backwards. What that means is that we start with the customer and what the customer wants, right? What's the objective for your business? And then we work backwards from there with design first. We design a premium customer experience that's, that's meant to be very intuitive. You know, you don't need to know a lot about all of the underlying technologies. You don't need to know about all of these technical principles in order to make it work. If you do, that's great. We still offer you all the bells and whistles that you might need to do to for some of the more advanced use cases. Now, the biggest thing that I think sets us apart is our license-free business model. This is huge, and I sometimes have trouble articulating this to new users, right? They don't really understand what this means. When you purchase our hardware, everything is license-free, from the cloud management, to the software features, to all of your software and firmware updates. It all comes with it. This is huge because it ultimately allows you to have an unmatched cost of ownership. As an end user, this is gonna come in at an amazing price point and it's gonna save you a lot of money. Again, manage service providers and channel partners. This is gonna benefit you as well because now you can come in with a solution that is gonna be more cost effective and effectively divert that payment in the form of licensing fees to the vendor and Take advantage of that going into your pocket for your own value-add services while still saving the customer a lot of money. So quick look now at the key components of our platform and how we achieve this through our hybrid cloud architecture. First thing I want to call out is a Unify host. I'm going to get into more details next on how you select these hosts and why you might choose one versus the other. Key idea here is that the Unify control plane lives somewhere. When I say the control plane, I'm talking about our Unify software applications. These are all purpose-built, depending on what vertical you're looking at. Network for your APs, switches, SD-WAN. You have Protect, which is for surveillance cameras, access for door access control. You, you get the point. In any case, though, when you have one of these hosts running these software applications, that is going to appear in your site manager. Site manager is unify.ui.com. We allow you to sign in with an SSO. 
We offer multi-factor authentication. And ultimately, when you go in here, you're going to see every single Unify site either that you own or that you've been given permissions to, to join, right? That could be an admin permissions, view only, and anything in between. Again, all of this license free. Just to talk more about some of those hosting options, we produce hardware hosts, and that's what I'm going to run through first here. The biggest one I want to emphasize is a cloud gateway. This is designed as an all-in-one appliance that is going to run your Unify control plane, and it has integrated gateway functionality for all of your security, routing, SD-WAN. If you're going to be using a Unify gateway, 99% of chances you want to just drop this in. You install this in a site, that site automatically pops into Site Manager, and as you plug in your Unify APs, switches, anything else there, it's going to automatically pop up. You click it and you can manage it securely through that portal. Next thing is going to be a cloud key. Exact same thing as a cloud gateway, except without the gateway functionality. This comes in handy if you're going to be going through a particularly larger migrations. It's not always easy to rip and replace everything, so maybe you want to start with access points and work your way, way up through access switching. And ultimately, once you get to that gateway and you want to use a cloud gateway, we have a super easy migration process to make that possible. Just to touch on network video recorders, these are dedicated physical security appliances. These are going to have a lot of drive bays here, so you have long-term RAID redundant storage for our cameras and our door access control. These things can be used together with each other, right? So if you want to use a cloud gateway to manage your networking and throw a network video recorder on it, you can do that. Now just to run briefly through some of our more flexible hosting options, besides the hardware that we sell, we actually have an official Unify hosting service. This is not to be confused with Site Manager. No matter where you run Unify, how you run it, you get free access to Site Manager. The idea here is that you can simply take that control plane and run it in the Unify cloud. Beyond that, though, we give full flexibility. We allow our customers to self-host the Unify network application wherever they want, whether it's on site, on their own hardware, in their data center, or in their own cloud environments. Totally up to you. Again, whichever one you choose, I can't emphasize enough that everything shows up in your site manager. And you can really mix and match all of your different hosts to make sure that you're matching your business needs. OK, so this slide here, this is what we talked about last year at Mobility Field Day number 11. You know, we're very prominent in the SMB market, but we've been making a really conscious effort to move upstream and make people more confident to install us in larger and more enterprise environments. Just to quickly recap some of this stuff, you know, we talked about hardware last year. First thing that we talked about was our U7 Pro. This was one of the first Wi-Fi 7 products to the market. We also announced two new products, one Wi-Fi 7 access point, and then the Enterprise Fortress Gateway. This Enterprise Fortress Gateway is a key product here because in addition to being the first in our targeted enterprise lineup of products, it's also a cloud gateway and it's gonna be made with higher capacity, more features, and a lot more redundancy in mind. That's the whole theme of this enterprise lineup of products. Tom's gonna to talk more about the portfolio. I just wanna flash a couple here. We've really filled out our entire Wi-Fi 7 portfolio, a lot of different models depending on what your use case is. As it relates to enterprise products, we've rolled out a lot more of those and still more to come. Again, I'll leave that part to Tom here later. Craig, a uh, quick question. I see SD-WAN and pushing further into the enterprise. Is SASE part of the ubiquity roadmap at this juncture? Yeah, it is. So we don't typically like to think in terms of the buzzword necessarily like that. I know SD-WAN, but our whole idea is we want to make this simpler. You know, this year, Andrew will talk about, we had a site meshing feature, which would allow you to initially have 10 sites together. We've expanded that to now have 1,000. We allow you to do hub and spoke failovers, you can have all sorts of redundant connections there. Um, and this is actually a big part of our strategy coming up. I can't give away too much because we actually have our own uh, Unify World Conference coming up next week. So there will be more announcements to come. All right, good to know. So yeah, software last year, 
We largely talked about some, some cool new troubleshooting features that we had from Wi-Fi, some new innovations there. But since then, we've come out with a ton of different things. Everything that you see on the screen has been released since last year. So if you go back to my point about why Unify and we talked about the software innovation, you can really think of it as an investment, right? This is stuff that you get no matter when you purchased Ubiquity. So instead of you know, having those recurring licenses going out, it's almost like an investment. We are a vendor that really gives you a return on your investment. Andrew's gonna jump more into these, but a couple things that I do wanna highlight, API, zero touch provisioning, and IDP integration. Uh, these were brought up last year by the delegates. They've been brought up by our community. So all of this to say we are listening. It's one of the reasons we were excited to come back, talk to everybody here, um, and continue to make improvements. The last point that we talked about on our strategy was our premium support. This is the one thing where I would say we slightly evolved, right? We framed this last year in terms of support, but we actually think it's about going a step further. We want to be there every step along the way from pre-sales to post-sales, install, and everything more. So we want to define it as Unify being your partner, right? No matter if you're a channel partner, no matter if you're the end user, we want to ultimately be there and make sure you have the resources that you need to be successful. First thing I want to talk about is our enterprise partner program. This is designed for value add channel partners who are installing our dedicated enterprise lineup of products. We've hand selected a global chain of distributors. We call them our enterprise distributors and made these available. And if you're one of those value add partners, you can go ahead and register deals for added security and increased profitability. All of those distributors are trained by our pre-sales engineers to make sure that they can answer not just questions about the enterprise, but all of the products in our portfolio. And we also directly support them. We have a robust process in play to make sure that we get involved directly for larger projects as needed to make sure they're successful. And we've gone on site and we'll definitely help out to make sure everything goes well. Is this available worldwide or? Yep. Okay. Worldwide. If you check this link below, you can go there and we're, we're going to help you locate some of those local distributors there. No matter where you are, though, we're making sure that you're taken care of. How long does the certification program take to complete? So that's a good question and I'll get into it later. Partial answer now is this is designed for partners as a very streamlined way to be able to register their deal. It's not a cumbersome process. It's pretty basic details, making sure they're legitimate, preventing you know online resellers from cutting into the margins of that. We wanna ultimately make sure if you are investing your time to win a project, that it's a real project and you're secured in for that. All right. Next up is phone support. We actually talked last year about our phone support offering. It's since been released globally. We have a follow the sun model, so we have 24 seven coverage. There's a number of different plans that we offer depending if you want you know, standard Monday through Friday business hours, or if you really do need that full support offering. It's been super well received. I won't go into all of the details here, but this is some of the feedback. The customers who have purchased it really love it. However, there's been one point brought up about it. You know, this phone support was a per site basis. So each time you needed it for a site, you needed to add on a, a, another package, right? So for our value add partners, people who use this and have their business on it, they said, hey, we know what we're doing. You know, we don't wanna pay per site. And when something's going wrong for us, something's really going wrong, get us to an engineer now. So for that reason, we've recently come out with our professional integrators program for just under $1,000 a year. This applies for an entire company. So any of your team that needs to call us, you got it. You get the premium escalation to tier two phone support. We also have webinar based trainings. Anybody who partakes in the program gives us feedback on what sort of trainings they want to see. And ultimately, we have our team creating that and delivering it. As a matter of fact, Tom from our team actually just gave one of these a couple days ago to, to a large group and again, very well received. These trainings and webinars complement our official certification courses that you can find on our website if you wanna go in person and get you know, more hands-on learning with this as well. Just out of curiosity, I trust the phone support also includes 
include social media channels as an option. Uh, social media in what sense? Like uh, they prefer to use Slack to troubleshoot this with the person versus over the phone. Uh, if... We have we have chat e and email based and then phone. So yeah, if, if, if the right. phone, if you don't want it, we still have a process to make sure you're going to get to the right yeah. person and we're going to be able to help you on your timeline. Yeah. Well, the phone's certainly welcome to Yeah, <laughs> yes. It is, again, it's been super well received. And again, I know we've talked about, you know, pre-sales, we've talked about post-sales, but sometimes it's not about troubleshooting, as you all know. Stuff goes wrong with the hardware. So that's why I want to mention UI Care here. It's our five-year extended coverage plan. Applies to just about all of our hardware, whether you purchase through us directly or through one of our authorized distributors. Five-year coverage, something goes wrong. All you have to do is type in that MAC address. We're going to advance ship you a new unit before you send yours back, free of charge. It often gets there next day. We include a return label in that package so you can send it back and no questions asked. We make it really simple and easy. And in general, I said this is more about being a partner. So with that, we're actually just generally putting ourselves out there. A lot of you have probably seen us. We've been going to a lot more trade shows, uh, industry events, not just in the US, but globally. Again, we have a team of a global team of support engineers who are going, making sure that there's a presence, giving you a spot to come find us if you want to give us feedback or just generally share, share how things are going with you. Next week actually starts our Unify World Conference Tour for this year. You know, a couple of years ago, we started this event where we're traveling around. It's dedicated to Unify. We have all of our products on display, a lot of new and upcoming products. And we go into a lot more depth during this one day event. Our CEO talks more elaborate on our roadmap, why we're making certain design choices and ultimately how it's gonna benefit you. Gives you a chance again to come talk to us, give us feedback and also, you know, network with your peers, see what they're doing, what, what works, what doesn't work. And ultimately we can all grow together. Don't just take our word for it. We've been putting together a large repository of case studies. I know a lot of people new to Unify, they always wanna say, hey, give me an example of a deployment. So this has been a well-requested feature, so we heard it. We have been putting these out there. I think we've got about 20 to start now. We have a large backlog of other things that are coming. I wish that I can tell you more about that, but just know there's a lot of good upcoming deployments. We're gonna be writing more extended white papers too, so you have more of the, the technical know-how to use it. And yeah, it's it's been a really awesome, well-received feature here. I'm gonna pause if there's any questions here, but I wanted to leave up some of the resources that I talked about. If you wanna check those out, come here. And yeah, thank you very much. Do you have a question on, on the unified GTB, GPT there yes. at the end? Is that trained only on your own internal docs? Yes. So it's a combination of our help center articles, our tech specs, and we do some custom training behind the scenes to point it in the right directions. You know, it's an awesome tool for, for general questions. Admittedly, you know, like any AI, there's the opportunity for hallucinations. But what I found is it's a great resource if you're wondering for general questions about Ubiquity, how does the platform work? General product recommendations, if you do comparisons, it makes that all super, super easy. Mm.